Hi guys, so before you are gonna watch the Stranger Things book tag that I filmed with Karis, I have to tell you guys two things. One, yes, I have a cold. My voice is, ugh, my throat, it hurts. And second of all, I filmed this video with Karis one year ago at the end of October in 2016. So do you keep in mind that this video is actually one year old. I just never had the time to edit it. And right now that season two of Stranger Things is coming out or has come out because today it is Friday, the 27th of October, season two came out. I just wanted to celebrate it by finally uploading this Stranger Things book tag. But I hope that you guys will have fun and let's watch the video right now. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here again with yes, Karis. Karis. <laughs> Karis on reading and today we're gonna do the Stranger Things book tag yes. because it's one of our favorite yeah, shows. So Maddie and V created this tag and we love their questions. There was also a different tag but mm -hmm. we prefer the questions from Maddie and V. I'm just gonna take the picture of the questions with me. So question number one, these questions are all based on characters and the yeah. first question is about Mike, a character who has great leadership skills. So I I cannot think of anyone because maybe there's just too many options, but Karen should um, have one. Yeah, so I really struggle with this question as well. <laughs> I don't just couldn't think of anything, but in the end I decided to go with Lottie, who is the main character of What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne. This is the book that focuses on her story and basically in this book she sort of creates a feminist campaign and runs her own vlogging sort of channel thing mm -hmm. um, and although she has her flaws she does definitely have some like strong leadership qualities so I think she sort of fits for that question. I feel like your answer is perfect and I just don't have one. I just... <laughs> You know, all the all the people I was thinking about Candace Everdeen as well, which yeah. is kind of problematic, I think. Yeah, and I think I, everyone's problematic. Yeah, but. but I wouldn't really want Katniss to be like the leader of the group. Maybe. Yeah. Question number two is Lucas, a book you were wary about, uh, wary of, but grew to like. So for this question, I'm gonna pick not Akatar but Akamath by Sarah J. Maas because everyone was just like. You know, they were like, oh my god, Akamath is the best book that I've read in my entire life. So I was expecting this really great star and just loving it just as much as everyone else. But it did take me like 300 pages to get to that point as other people. So in the beginning, I was like, uh, not too sure if I'm going to like this more than Akatar. So, but in the end, I did. So yeah. I really, really like Akamath right now. And for me, I decided to go with a book called Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall because I had like really high expectations for this. And then when I first started reading it, I sort of thought it was going to follow like that really stereotypical <laughs> pattern of like, boy moves in next door to girl and saves girl like Falls sort of things. Yeah, okay. Um, but it wasn't like that in the end and it was actually really good and I really enjoyed it. But it did take me a little bit to get into. But... Did you pick it because Holly Bourne blurred <laughs> Maybe that plays <laughs> some part in it, yes. I'm starting to get to know the whole born thing. So question number three is Dustin, who is one of my oh, favorite yeah, characters. Yeah, my favorite, yeah. so cute. A book that ticks all the boxes. So do you have it here maybe someday by Colleen Hoover? No, I don't. Okay, mind. but my answer is maybe someday by Colleen Hoover because just everything was perfect about this book. And until so far, I actually have that. I uh, had that with all of Colleen Hoover's books, but maybe someday is just my favorite until so far. Yeah, it was a really good book. Yeah. Um, and I decided to go for Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, just because this, like, deals with a lot of issues like university and just everything. <laughs> um, it's also really diverse. It's got characters from lots of different races and sexualities in it. And I just think I read this at a really good time, like the ideal time to read it, like being at university <laughs> and like it talks about like those feelings of not being sure of what you want to do with your life yeah. and I, that is you me. You felt the same. <laughs> I feel it. Um, and Alice Oseman's just like an amazing author, so definitely this one. Mm -hmm. Question number four is, will a precious baby that needs protecting, so again, this one was extremely hard, but it's not like a precious baby to me, but I feel like Bella from the Twilight Saga, she just needs to be protected because She's hanging out with vampires yeah. and werewolves and like, what is she doing with her life? So I feel like she should yeah. have had protection. Like, just so let her live a normal life. Yeah, just not hang out with vampires and such. <laughs> but then there'd be no book series. Yeah, so. that's true. But, but they're not the best yeah. ever. <laughs> I but... could pass on that, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I decided to go with Rudy from The Book Thief. This is my favorite book of all time and Rudy is just like the sweetest character. I absolutely love him. And... I'm just like, I haven't read it. That's <laughs> He's definitely my favourite character in it. He's just like so sweet and if I could just 
Wrap him in a blanket and protect him forever, <laughs> then I definitely would. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, my baby. Question number five, 11, a powerful female protagonist. So for this one, an obvious choice would be Selena Sadorthian from the Throne of Glass series. And that was the only one that came to my mind like this because she's just, especially like, I've only read the first two books. But in the second book, she was like badass. And I went for, I don't even know her name. She's called Josephine, <laughs> the main character of this book called The Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. This book is set in 1890s New York and the main female character in it wants to be a reporter. But obviously at the time, like being a girl and being a reporter was like really frowned upon. But she sort of, and she comes from an upper class family as well. So it would be like below herself, like yeah, socially. Okay. But uh -huh. she's just like, whatever, I'm going to do what I want to do. And she's like really badass in that way. And you I go, really girl. liked her. I thought she was really cool. So I would probably pick her. <laughs> Question number six. Yeah, it's six. Question number six is Nancy, an underrated book. And for this one, I... I haven't really read that many like underrated books. I feel like an underrated book is like some like a book without with less than three thousand ratings on Goodreads maybe. But the only like underrated book that I, that I have on my shelves at home is The Way Back to You by two authors that I don't like remember yeah. the name right now. Because, I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't really heard of them before. But it has like a four out of five stars and it only has like five hundred ratings. But it does sound really good about this girl and guy going on a road trip because they both lost their friend because she died but then the friend wants to donate the organs mm -hmm. and they go visit the families who got the yeah. organs of the friend. I don't know, it just sounds good but then again, just sad. <laughs> yeah, that sounds it sounds really unique though. Um so I feel like I've mentioned quite a lot of underrated yeah. books in this video but I guess that's because a lot of them are UK YA yeah. so not as popular or well known on booktube and I feel like it should because the yeah. UK matters yeah <laughs> UK YA is the best um but the one I decided to go for for this question is something I actually have two copies of yeah. so we could both hold one up maybe yeah. and it is Beautiful Broken <sighs> Things by Sarah Bernard this is one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year and it just deals with friendship and it's just really good really beautifully written and mm -hmm. it made me cry as well so and books don't normally do that so if this can do it for me that's saying yeah, something that's a good so yeah, yeah, yeah i just loved this book and, and the copies that you have they're both yeah they're also so, so pretty. pretty and shiny Woo! i really like this and i feel like i need to have it i feel like i need to buy it yeah. that's what i mean like we can find a nice copy of it but i like <laughs> this one better yeah but the beautiful sticker thing. yeah that really annoyed me i was like <laughs> Beautiful sticker. Question number seven is the three main teens, a love triangle that you did not hate. So you can start with that one. I don't really know if the love triangle is really developed in this first book, but I think it's going to be developed more in the next two books. Oh, okay. And I don't think I'm going to like mind it that much. Mm -hmm. And that is Vendetta or the Blood for Blood trilogy by Catherine Doyle. I think it's sort of starting to develop in this one, but yeah. it's definitely going to be developed more in the next two. But I don't know. I like. I sort of like both of the guys at oh, the moment. Yeah. I don't really know which one I would like lean towards. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to mind it. I think it sort of like adds to the story. Whereas yeah. sometimes love triangles can really like the story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that to be honest. Yeah. Um, but for this question, I chose the love triangle in the Legend series. Have you read the Legend series? No. It's like a good dystopian series but the first one like legend is my absolute favorite book of them but the love triangle was like kind of there and i thought it was kind of unnecessary because i was like yeah she's gonna end up with that guy like it didn't really add something to the story so it kind of maybe bothered me but i was like i'm fine with it you know yeah so that's it's better than a lot of other love triangles yeah I guess. so that yeah. was the one that i could think of then we have question number eight is it question number eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, question number eight. Jonathan and Steve, a character you would forgive anything that they do. So I picked another person from the Throne of Glass series for this one, and that is Kale, because Kale is my favorite. There are a lot of people who ship other guys, but Kale's my favorite, and if he just does anything bad, I would just forgive him because he is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so if anyone knows anything about me, this character probably isn't like that much like that difficult to guess um and i decided to go for hannah marin from the pretty little liar series probably more so the tv show but as i always say this is a book series as well yeah. so we can definitely count it yeah. um she's just my like favorite character that's ever been written in the world i just think she's so funny and to be honest i just want to be her so that's why she could just 
she has literally killed people on the show and I'm just like, whatever, you go she's girl, <laughs> yeah, I still love you. So, yeah, Hannah. You definitely. don't think that she's a criminal, it's just like, it's just Hannah, she can just do anything. Well, it was self-defense, so, you oh, know, yes. it's fine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Question number nine, is Barb a book or series that ended too soon? You can go first because I need to like, what my answer was again. Okay. Again, another really obvious, <laughs> obvious answer one. to yeah. me. Um, I only have the second book to show, but it is the Spencer Club Trilogy by Holly Bourne, which is this book, How Hard Can Love Be, Am I Normal Yet? And What's a Girl Gotta Do, which I've already showed. Um, there is a novella that's just come out for this that I haven't read yet, but I'm like and desperate you, to go out and it buy so it. Bad. Yeah. We saw it in the shops the other day, like early, out early, and I was like, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> yeah. um, this trilogy has been my absolute favorite thing that I've read all year. I'm always going on about it, so I don't really need to say very much. I just I want feel ten so more bad books. just sitting here next to you, <laughs> not having read this series. I'm just like, yeah, but I haven't read half the ones that you mentioned. Yeah, like, okay, but and that's, they're all really yeah. popular, like Throwing yeah. Glass and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's true. But for, like, my answer is the Anna and the French Kiss Companion novels because I love all of them. Especially, yeah, I'm like, do you, which one is your favourite? Um, I've only read Anna and Lola. Okay. I really liked Lola and a lot of people say that's their least yeah, favourite. Yeah, it's my least favourite. I really liked it. <laughs> like, so. I don't know, I really liked it and loved Cricket. Like, yeah. He's just, uh, I don't know, I really like him. But um, I'm like, is Isla my favourite or Anna? Because Isla was kind of like, Angsty, just, is that the right yeah. word? Seems I was like, hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, Anna was just like more spontaneous, and I don't know. Anna was like the first book that I've ever read in English, so that also has like a special well, place yeah. in my heart. But I wish that she, Stephanie Perkins could just write more, like more of this series because I just want more. I just yeah. need more. Question number ten. Yeah. yeah ten. Question number ten. Joyce, a book. Uh, that considers grief, so you can go first as well. Yeah, so another one of my favourite books of all time, <laughs> I chose Paperweight by Meg Haston. This is about a girl who's um, in a treatment centre for an eating disorder, but she wants to basically kill herself on the anniversary of her brother's death. So that's why she's not eating, because she wants to like Ooh, starve she herself oh, so okay. she dies on that day. Uh -huh. So obviously, uh, obviously, <laughs> I can't even speak English. Me neither. <laughs> um, obviously she is like really sad and feels like intense grief for like the death of her brother. Mm -hmm. So it definitely deals with grief and a lot of other like hard hitting issues as well. Yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It was like quite difficult to read. Um, and I think if you, as someone who would be really affected by like reading about like self harm, suicide, eating disorders, then yeah. maybe not read it. But <laughs> I really enjoyed it, and again, it made me cry. So <laughs> yeah, you just have like a couple of books that made you cry, and those are like one of yeah, your favorites. Yeah, those are like my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never really cry with books that much as well. But um, for me, a book that considers grief was not one of my favorites, but it did like considers gr considered grief. I don't know if it considered it that well, but it was. Um, it's not summer without you, which is like the second book in the to, uh, in the summer I Turned pretty tr trilogy by Jenny Han. Again, not one of my most favorite trilogies ever, but the second book just dealt with grief, like in a pretty good way, I'd say. But I don't really have like a solid answer yeah. for this question, so just let's go to the next one. So question number eleven, which is the last question, is Hopper, which is my favorite character in the whole entire yeah, show, really besides like Eleven and Dustin. Uh, your favorite adult character? Um, yeah, this was another one that I found really difficult. I guess I don't really read that many books with adults in because a yeah. lot of YA books just don't. The parents are just not, not there. there. <laughs> um, but. I haven't read this whole series, but I really like the parents in the Geek Girl series by Holly Smile. In the, well, at least in this first book, yeah. I really liked them. Harriet, who's the main character, um, she has her dad and her stepmother, and I really liked their dynamic. They were like the stepmother was really loving, but like sort of more strict, whereas oh, okay. the dad was yeah. like more like laid back and like chilled out, and <laughs> it was just like a really funny dynamic, and I really liked them, and it was really nice to see a book that was about a teenager that actually had a sort of close relationship with their parents because yeah. it's what like normal realistic people have, but yeah. not very many books have it so I probably have to say, the, I can't remember their names, I think the stepmom was called Annabelle, I'm not sure what the dad was called oh, but okay. <laughs> these. Oh my god, okay. 
I'm so strong. <laughs> <laughs> so the dad that I'm going for is the dad from Lara Jean from the To All The Boys I Loved Before duology trilogy is gonna be Thing. a trilogy just never ending yeah it's just never ending probably um but i loved her dad and he's like a si yeah he's a single dad right yeah yeah so he's a single dad and he just takes care of his like his his girl so well and just i don't know i just really loved him and again like you said you don't really read that many books about that involve parents as well and this was just mm. focuses on family as well so much yeah, so i was definitely. like yes this dad is my favorite oh my god my foot is like yeah mine's like gone ah! to sleep <laughs> <laughs> it's tingling so much we did it karis <sighs> we got all the questions proud of ourselves so <laughs> those are all the questions uh karis i think had better answers than me but <laughs> i just could not like it just did not come to my mind. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Karis' channel. I will leave all of her links in the description down below. And if you want to, you could also subscribe to me. Um, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Stranger Things! Do it! Do it! It's our favorite show! <laughs>